So let's have a look at the main elements of the passpoint. The first one is uh, network discovery and selection. Mobile devices discover and automatically choose network based on provisioned operator policy, user preference, and network availability. The other element is seamless network access. Manual intervention for selecting a Wi-Fi hotspot is not required anymore since Passpoint performs automated association process. Devices can be automatically granted access to the network. The next element is multiple credential types. This relates to the authentication process. Passpoint supports uh, first and most natural uh, one, subscriber identity uh, model-based authentication. It means that it can authenticate or it allows to authenticate the mobile device based on the SIM credentials. Beside of that, it includes other mechanisms uh, for authentication uh, based on username password combination in the case that the mobile device does not have a SIM. The other element is the uh, WAPA Enterprise Security. Actually, the WAPA or WPA2 Enterprise Security, this is a, a set of uh, security procedures that were already uh, standardized long ago by the 802.11i, but the uh, Passpoint has adopted them and, uh, and uh, mandated uh, a portion of them uh, as a requirement for um, uh, for supporting Wi-Fi cellular convergence. The reason for that is that it allows authentication versus an authentication ser server, or more specifically versus a triple A, AAA authentication server. In addition, the WPA2 enterprise security mandates the use of AES, counter mode CBC counter uh, ciphering scheme which makes the uh, ciphering mechanism of the Wi-Fi equal in its strengths to actually to cellular. And the last two features that were actually added in uh, release two of uh, Passpoint are online account provisioning, which allows, uh, which allows the user to join actually and open an account uh, online in a kind of automated way without the need to, to, to make any um, uh, discussions with, uh, with uh, a, a human delegate. And, uh, and this is done according to the standard in a kind of a universal way that uh, multiple entities will be able to adopt it. And the last element is uh, the ability to uh, provide with the uh, passpoint information that we'll, we'll, we'll soon see how it is provided, to provide also the operator policies. Operator policies are mechanisms that intended to support operator uh, specific subscriber policies, mean policies, uh, policies which relate to a specific subscriber, but also recommendation on the um, priorities of which of the networks should be selected first and only if it is failed or not available, what will come uh, next. <laughs>